And now we'll talk about projectiles. A projectile is an object that's thrown through the air. And the term projected is sometimes used. And all that means in this context is that it, that it is thrown. So you have the ground here and say something is thrown, in this case, up and to the right at an angle like that. Well, it will move through the air and an object like this, and you've, you've seen this happen because you've seen objects thrown through the air or a, a baseball hit or thrown or a football thrown, and it moves in a path that looks something like this. Mathematically, this curve is what we call a parabola. And you might have seen this in math class, but let's, let's take a quick look at a parabola. If you make a graph, an XY graph, and we'll put some marks on here. So these are your XY axes. And you take an equation like this, Y equals X squared. And what this means is we're going to put in various values for X here along the X axis. And we'll do this calculation, specifically squaring the X, and we'll get out a value for Y. So think of X as our input and Y as our output. And for every X value we put in, we get a Y value out and we can plot them. So it's pretty easy to see that if X is 0, well then Y is 0 squared, which is just 0. So we plot this point here, 0, 0. If X is 1, Y is X squared, which is 1 squared. So when X is 1, Y is 1. So we plot this point, 1, 1. Now if X is 2, then Y is X squared, which is 4. So we plot this point here. That's 2 over on the x-axis and 4 up on the y, putting us right there. So we plot the point 2, 4. Now, a couple more. If x is negative 1, that's right along here where the x value is negative 1, then we do the math. Negative 1 squared is positive 1. So we plot this point here. x is negative 1, y is positive 1. And if x is negative 2, negative 2 squared is positive 4. So we plot this point here, negative 2, positive 4, right up here. And we could continue to plot more points and fractional values and things. And we get this smooth curve that looks something like this, sometimes described as a U-shaped curve. Um, it's not a sharp point down there at the bottom. It's a, a smooth curve all the way through the bottom. And it goes on and on. That's what those arrows rep represent. But this, t this curve mathematically is called a parabola. And you can have all different types of parabolas. They can be stretched out or really tall and thin. And they could sit at various places in the coordinate plane. Or they could open downward like this. And you can even have parabolas that open left and right like that or like that. But all these curves are mathematically called parabolas. And they all come from an equation that has something squared, like you see there. That's what makes it a parabola mathematically. And this is a well-known shape. People have been studying these mathematical curves for a long time. And it turns out these curves correspond to things in the real world, as most mathematics does. Most just pure abstract mathematics like this ends up showing up somewhere in the real world. And in this case, a projectile moving through the air moves in a path that is a parabola. And Galileo figured that out. This is obviously a parabola that opens downward, as opposed to this one over here that opens upward. But that's OK. It's still a parabola. An object thrown through the air moves in a parabolic path. Now let's define projectile. A projectile is an object moving through the air an object moving through the air under the influence of gravity alone an object moving through the air under the influence of gravity alone. So what this means is there, there are no other forces other than gravity acting on the object. And there are a couple of things we need to take from that fact, gravity alone. One is we're going to neglect air resistance. That's not realistic at high speeds, but if you just toss a tennis ball across the room to your friend, that's realistic. It's not moving fast enough 
for air resistance to be significant. So ignoring the air resistance and considering gravity to be the only significant force is reasonable. The other thing that it means is we're only concerned with the path of the object while it's in free flight. We're not concerned with the throw it took some force, maybe you took a ball and threw it, and it took some, some force and some time to accelerate the ball up to this initial speed. The parabolic trajectory, or it's a projectile, only when it's in free flight. So the moment it's released, it becomes a projectile. And then when it hits, it hits and stops. We're not concerned with the impact with the ground. We're only concerned with the, the flight right up to the moment of impact. So it's only projectile while it's moving in free flight. That's when gravity is the only significant force acting on it. And that's how we define projectile. A projectile is an object moving only, moving under the influence of only gravity.